Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Hello. everybody. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thanks. And you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Doing good. good Thank you very much. Everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good, good. Um, let's begin. Just <clears> give me a second as I get the right slide here. Okay. All right. I'm going to share the screen with you now. There it is. And the attendance. Um, right here. Okay, final class today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Okay. Uh, present, teacher, present. Hi. I am here. Hi, Adán. Welcome. Um, Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present, teacher. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. Uh, Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present, teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Daristides Oya Ruiz. Present, teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Welcome. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Welcome. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Welcome. Okay. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Eh, dice, señor Arrazábal, no se puede conectar, fíjese. De verdad. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Ok. Problema de conexión. Bueno, ojalá que logre conectarse. Permítanme. Ojalá logre conectarse luego. Ah, uh, bueno, María Magdalena ya está acá. <laughs> Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present. 
Chair. Welcome. Oscar Susana Castellano. No, perdón, Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Llamando nuevamente, por acá en chat tenemos Carlos Edgardo Cruz González, presente. Ok, thank you. Uh, Arles Ernesto. Arles Ernesto López. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Erika... Dice Edith está por la zona de Perquín. Eh, dijo que tenía mala señal. Ya vamos a ver cómo se conecta por, reportándola. Ok, ok. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Estoy presente, teacher. Ok, welcome. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. Welcome. Ok, tomaremos asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Uh, give me a second. Ok. Enrique Pérez tiene la mano levantada. Dígame. Sí, teacher, fíjese que, vaya, este, buenas noches a todos. Dice noches. que el día de hoy voy a, a conocer ahí en su casa, allá, eh, English Corporation, por la 93. Ah. Voy a traer eh, los diplomas, que son 30 los que me dieron, pero con algunos inconvenientes, ya que el señor Oya Ruiz aparece como Herbert, y tengo entendido que es Herbert. Mm. relacionado a ese diploma del módulo 2 eh, no sé qué se podría hacer para ver de qué manera al señor Oya se le pudiera corregir los, ahí los sería diplomas. que se con, que se contacten con Flor Sánchez Oya, que tome es, nota Oya ajá, que está a cargo del grupo de Whatsapp verdad eh, Flor Sánchez quien está mandando ahí los mensajes ella les mandó ahora un mensaje de, 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 de finalización de módulo con ella contáctense directamente porque Gracias. en el caso de nosotros por lo menos que damos las clases solamente solo eso hacemos, <ríe> damos las clases pero ya de los diplomas y cualquier otro eh, asunto de carácter administrativo se encargarían ellos, entonces yo le mentiría si le dijera qué hacer porque la verdad es que no sé, pero sí con ellas tendrían que entenderse Gracias Teche porque también me dijeron que el diploma del módulo 1 aparece aparece subido en donde tenemos la plataforma y hacemos los ejercicios en inglés uh -huh. ahí está subido el 2 es el que está voy a traer hoy y el 3 que está en proceso que finaliza hoy uh -huh. entonces de igual manera los que están aquí eh, 
Comalapa, pueden coordinar conmigo para entregárselos eh, el transcurso de mañana o la otra semana. Y luego los compañeros y compañeras que están en el NSP allá de, de Santa Tecla, de alguna manera en una comisión les hago llegar por allí su diploma. Eso era lo que tenía ahí, Pichir, y gracias por el espacio. Salvador Hernández ya está conectado. Bueno, ahí escuchamos la retroalimentación, le tomo su asistencia. <risa> Quiero ver. Salvador Hernández presente. Ok. ¿Alguien más que uh, no haya escuchado su nombre, que se vaya conectando recientemente? Franklin de la O. Ok, Franklin de la O. Le ponemos asistencia. Ok, tomada. ¿Alguien más? Erika Beatriz. Ok, Erika. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? ¿Nadie más? Ok, perfecto. Ok. Um, all right, so everybody, take a look. This is English Principiante Módulo 3, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. Once again, this is session 16. Today is July the 13th of 2023 or 2023. So what are we going to do? We're going to have a review on the grammar focus. The grammar focus is WH questions with did, was, and where. So first question, where did you grow up? That's the first one. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? Remember, in past simple, you need to use the auxiliary did, the subject, and after that, the verb in base form. Very important. The verb goes in base form, never in past form. So where did you grow up? Grow is the base form. When did you come to Los Angeles? Come is the base form of the verb. Why did you become a hairstylist? Become is the base form of the verb. Now, you use the past form of the verb only in affirmative sentences. For example, I grew up in Texas. This is an affirmative sentence. So you use the verb in past form. I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Came is the past form of the verb because this is an affirmative sentence. Because I needed the money. Needed is the past form of the verb need. You use the past form here because this is a, an affirmative sentence. But what about the verb be? The verb be is a bit different. How old were you in 1990? Now look, when you are using the verb be, the verb being past is was or where. Don't use did, okay? Acuérdense, cuando ustedes tienen was or where en las preguntas y en las oraciones negativas, no vayan a ocupar did ni didn't, okay? So how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Ahora con el verb be, ustedes van a ocupar la forma en pasado, tanto en afirmativas, en negativas y en preguntas. ¿verdad? Pero con los otros verbos, la forma en pasado solamente se utiliza en oraciones afirmativas. Okay, so don't forget that. We're going to do an exercise now. What is the exercise? Take a good look at this. Write these questions. You have to use the verb cost, which is costar, arrive, llegar, go, ir, go to bed late, irse a la cama tarde, happen, que es suceder o ocurrir, have a nice time, pasarla bien, stay, que es quedarse en un lugar o permanecer en un lugar, and win, which is ganar. Fíjense bien en este ejercicio. Me van, a, me van a formular preguntas en past simple. ¿Ok? Preguntas en past simple. 
todas las preguntas van a ser, eh, van a llevar did, no hay ninguna que lleve el verb be, así que en todas van a utilizar did. Algunas son yes, no questions y otras son information questions. ¿Cómo va a saber usted? Fíjese en la respuesta. Si la respuesta da información específica, entonces es una information question, lo que significará también que usted tendrá que ocupar una de las question words que están en el segundo cuadro, como how, how much, what time y where. Ahora, si la respuesta es yes o no, entonces es una yes, no question. En dicho caso, no va a necesitar ninguna de estas palabras en el segundo cuadro amarillo. ¿Ok? Porque esas comienzan directamente con el auxiliar did, como ya lo hemos visto con anterioridad. Vamos a ver acá. Son conversaciones. They are conversations. We went to Chicago last month. ¿Ok? Viene la pregunta. Where did you stay? The answer, in a nice hotel. Este es el ejemplo. Como la respuesta es información específica y no es un sí o un no, entonces usted necesita una information question. Y dice, in a nice hotel. Ah, eso es un lugar. Entonces la question word sería, where? Where did you stay? ¿Dónde se quedó? ¿O dónde pasó las noches? Where did you stay? In a nice hotel. Ok. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias ya está presente. Tomamos su asistencia. Thank you. Okay, so uh, here's the idea. Let me check something. Okay, here we go. What about number two? I was late for the meeting. And then the question, blah, 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 blah. And the answer is, 9.30. What is the question? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me puede decir? Este ejercicio es un poco más difícil que los anteriores. Pero aquí está. Quien quiera participar es libre de hacer. No hay problema. Ok, Wilber. Vamos a intentarlo ahí, teacher. Eh, where do you meet? Ok. Vaya, veamos. Tenemos que ver eh, la respuesta. En la respuesta le está indicando una hora. Por lo tanto, ¿cuál question word vamos a utilizar? ¿Será how? ¿How much? ¿What time? ¿O where? What time? Así es, sería what time, ¿ok? Entonces, what time y cuál sería la pregunta. Ahora tendría que hacer la pregunta en past simple utilizando uno de los verbos que están en, el primer, en la primera caja amarilla. Anaranjada. La respuesta es la que determina la pregunta. ¿Cómo sería en este caso? What time go to be late? ¿Algo así? What time go to bed late? Nos faltan ahí varios detalles. Eh, primero, no es el verbo correcto porque estamos hablando de una reunión y luego me pregunta sobre irse a acostarse. Entonces, como que no pega una cosa con la otra. Y lo otro es que falta el auxiliar y falta el sujeto. Entonces, ¿cómo será acá? Tranquilo, si cometemos errores, así vamos aprendiendo. Tal vez alguien más nos pueda ayudar acá a, a, a digamos, 
eh, para salir más rápido de esta, María de Lourdes. Microphone. Igual voy a intentar. Okay. Uh, what time did, did you go? What time did you go? Okay. Ya estamos casi completos ahí. What time did you? Pero el verbo go no sería el indicado. Es uno diferente. Arrive. Arrive. Okay. Arrive. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta completa? What time did you arrive? What time did you arrive? Cecia ya está por acá. Ok. Bienvenida. Ok, María de Lourdes. That is correct. What time did you arrive? ¿A qué hora llegaste? 9.30. Ok. Entonces eso es lo que hay que ir viendo. ¿verdad? Mire ahí la respuesta. Fíjese si es un sí o un no. Si es un sí o un no, es una yes no question. Por lo tanto, no va a necesitar ni el how, ni el how much, ni el what time, ni el where. ¿Verdad? Va a comenzar de un solo con did. Pero si no es un sí y un no, significa que es información específica. Por lo tanto, va a necesitar un question word. Nada más hay que fijarse que el question word concuerde con la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, number three. I played tennis this afternoon. Ok. Y que le pregunte el otro, bla, bla, bla. Y la conteste, le contesta, no, I lost. Y dice, no, perdí. So, what's the question? What is the question? La respuesta es no. I lost. Dice no. Perdí. What's the question? Wilber. Eh, quizás lo que vamos a usar de la parte de arriba es el win, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, ah, por ahí. Voy a seguir reflexionando, Ticha. Vaya, dele. Vamos, los demás. ¿Qué pueden aportar para este ejercicio? Anímense, por favor. Veamos, ¿qué más me pueden decir? Que no sean siempre los mismos. Última clase. De casualidad le dijo, you win. Ah, pero ¿cuál sería la pregunta completa? Porque no, no puede ser solo you win. Sabemos que necesitamos algo importante ahí. Who? Who? Mm, no, no sería... Bueno, who no aparece, ¿verdad? En la lista. Tal vez how es el que se refiere. Pero si usted se fija, es una yes, no question. Porque la respuesta es no. Por lo tanto, no va a necesitar ninguno de estos. Cuando uno tiene una yes, no question, usted tiene que comenzar directamente con un auxiliar. Y el auxiliar en Past Simple es did. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? You did win. Uh, ¿Quién habló por ahí? José Amilcar. José Amilcar, ok. Siempre levantamos la manita porque si no me confundo. Ok. Ok, esas palabras están bien. El problema es el orden. Porque me dijo, you did win. Ok, esas tres palabras son, de hecho, pero no están en el orden correcto. ¿Cómo será entonces? Enrique. Teacher. Vamos a intentarlo. Ok. Eh... Was. No, perdón. Mm -hmm. Where. Where. Did. Where did you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Play tennis. Did, tennis. No, sorry. 
No, no, no podríamos decir eso porque no concuerda con la respuesta. Si usted le dice where, le está diciendo dónde. Y en la respuesta no le está dando ningún lugar. Por lo tanto, no puede ser esa. Más bien la respuesta es un no. Cuando es un no, usted no va a utilizar ninguna question word. Se comienza directo con un auxiliar. Saúl Ernesto, vamos a ver qué nos dice. Bien, teacher, como ya la regalaron, sería Did you win? Did you win? Ok. The answer is no, I lost. Ok. Eso sería, ¿verdad? Ahora, fijémonos acá, ¿verdad? La diferencia. Thank you, Saúl. Uh, le dice, I play tennis this afternoon. Jugué tenis esta tarde. Le dice, ah, ¿verdad? Y ganaste. Le dice, no, perdí. Le dice. So, did you win? No, I lost. Aquí pueden ver la diferencia entre los dos tipos de preguntas. Esta es una yes, no question. En una yes, no question, no se utilizan question words, que son estas, como how, how much, what time, where, what, who, which, todas esas no se utilizan. Sino que usted comienza directamente con el auxiliar. Y el auxiliar en past simple siempre es did. Entonces utiliza el auxiliar, luego el sujeto, y luego el verbo en forma base. Esa es la clave. No, no ganó una Saúl. Ganó una Saúl ahí. <ríe> ok, I played tennis this afternoon. Did you win? No, I lost. What about number four? Vayan fijándose, ¿verdad? En lo que la explicación que vamos dando. Y además, váyanse basando en, los, en, las, en las que ya están contestadas, ¿verdad? Ahí puede ir usted comparando. Ah, va aquí, va allá. Después de esta palabra va esto, después va el sujeto. Después. Y así, ¿no? I had a nice vacation. Ok. Y el otro le dice, good. Bla, bla, bla. Y él le dice, to the mountains. Enrique. Teacher, él dice, I had a nice vacation. Mm -hmm. Es que yo tuve una excelente vacaciones, ¿ok? Buenas vacaciones. Pero estuve, luego... va, este va. Perdón. Donde dice, had. I had, sí, tuve. I had a tuve. nice vacation. Ah, le dice good y le hace la pregunta y la respuesta sería to the mountains entonces vamos a ver ahí qué será, cuál será la pregunta cualquiera puede contestar vamos, Carlos Alberto lo voy a intentar teacher Dele. Sería, where did you go? That is correct. Where did you go? To the mountains. ¿A dónde fuiste, Liz? A montañas. Very good. Correcto. Aquí puede ver, ¿verdad? La respuesta no es un sí ni un no. Por lo tanto, es information. Specific information. Hay que ocupar un question word. Que sería where, dónde. Okay, where did you go? To the mountains. Thank you. Number five, we came home by taxi. Then the question, and the answer is $20. Paudilio. How much? Uh-huh. Uh, sería... Okay, how much is correct? When? when... Uh, uh, how, how much? Uh, no, what? Ah. This, how much? Mm, no, me está combinando varios questions. What, how much? What, Sol how much? Solamente es uno. Sería what? Mm -hmm. no, si se fija, what no está en la lista. En la lista están how, how much, what time, y where. Yeah, how much? How much? Uh -huh. uh, by taxi? Mm, sigamos la estructura. Veamos las demás. Si usted se fija, va al question word, luego el auxiliar did, luego el sujeto y luego el verbo. Esa es la estructura que van a seguir todas las, todas las demás. I don't know. Ok, no problem. José Amilcar. Eh, sería 
、えーHow much mm -hmm. did cost? Okay. How much did cost? Las palabras están bien, pero falta una. Falta el sujeto ahí. Sí. Sería. How much, how much did mm -hmm. cost? Cost. Ajá. Pero igual, falta una palabra ahí. Decimos, how much did. Falta el sujeto y al is, final va a Ajá, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá, la oración, la how pregunta much, completa. How much did it cost? cost? How much did it cost? Correct. Aquí no vamos a decir you porque no fue, no fue la persona la que costó algo. No, fue el viaje el que costó. ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de una cosa que sería el viaje. How much did it cost? Twenty dollars. ¿Cuánto costó les? How much did it cost? $20. Okay. Thank you. That is correct. What about number six? I am tired this morning. Y luego la pregunta. Y le contesta, no, but I didn't sleep well. Very well. Maria de Lourdes. Did you... Did you go to bed late? Did you go to bed late? Correct. And he says, no, but I didn't sleep very well. Aquí no ocupamos un question word porque es una yes, no question. La respuesta es no. Por lo tanto, yes, no question. Se comienza de una sola vez con el did, el auxiliar. Did you go to bed late? No, but I didn't sleep very well. Very good. Thank you. Number seven. We went to the beach yesterday. Then the question and the answer is yes, it was great. What's the question? Ajá. Carlos Alberto. Sería teacher. Did you Did you have a nice time? Did you have a nice time? Yes, it was great. Correct. Did you have a nice time? Yes, no question. It was great. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. And the last one. The window is broken. La ventana está rota. Then the question. And the person says, I don't know. Cecia. How much cost? How much? Mm, no, because how much is money. ¿Cuánto? Uh, También ya ocupamos cost en la número 5. O sea, Milcar. Did you happen? Did you happen? Ok. Um, dos problemas ahí. Problema número uno. Está formulado como una yes, no question. Y si usted se fija, la respuesta no es un sí ni un no. Tendría que ser una information question. Problema número dos, no podemos ocupar you como el sujeto porque no es usted quien se rompió, sino la ventana. Es una cosa. Por lo tanto, habría que ocupar otro sujeto. Está bien, eh, por cierto, ¿verdad? En su participación, la participación de todos... Cometer errores es parte normal del proceso, ¿verdad? Eso nos va guiando poco a poco a llegar a la respuesta y al mismo tiempo vamos dando una retroalimentación sobre eh, qué es en lo que se está fallando. Y eso nos sirve, ¿ok? Eso nos sirve, no es que nos sirve, nos sirve. 
Eso nos sirve a todos. Ok. It is. Ajá. Sería it is. Eh, what's the complete it, question? Eh. Mm -hmm. Where did where did it happen? Okay. Did it happen? Mm, no, the word where is not correct. Let's see. Karen Julissa, nos va a ayudar acá. How? Aha. How, how is happen? Again, please. How? How is happen? How is? Mm, no, no podemos ocupar el verb be en hora, como un auxiliar para el past simple. It. It. Aha. How it happen? Le falta el auxiliar. Ay. <laughs> How did it happen? How did it happen? How did it happen? Ah, no. ¿Cómo sucedió? Les? No sé, le dice. The window is broken. La ventana está rota. Le dice, ¿cómo pasó eso? ¿Cómo sucedió? Les? No sé. Así estaba. So, I don't know. Dice. Okay, ahí vamos. Extra exercise right here. I'm going to send this to you. Se lo voy a mandar para que puedan también ustedes estudiar este ejercicio que está un poquito más complicado que otros que hemos hecho. Pero así es, ¿verdad? Igual que el gimnasio. Si el ejercicio no cuesta, no sirve. <risa> ok. Creo que tengo un poquito de problema para enviarlo. No se manda por algún motivo. Bueno. Ahí va ya. Ok, next part. Uh, 5.9. These are WH questions with did, was, and where. So match the questions with the answers, then compare with a partner. Number one. When and where were you born? The answer is C. I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. What about the second one? Where did you grow up? What's the answer? Enrique Pérez. Luego Karen Julissa. No bajen la mano, no bajen la mano. De ahí va el turno de ustedes. Ok. Enrique. Mm. Lady, if, if, mm -hmm. if, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. That's correct. Yeah. Thank you. Karen Julissa. The next one. When did you start school? She, I'm I sorry? entered G. G. I, I entered, entered first grade in 1989. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I enter first grade in. How do you read that? Ay, no sé cómo decirlo. Cómo no, cómo no. Acuérdese cómo hemos visto que se dice. Acuérdese Ay, no que cuando leemos los años, tenemos que leer primero este y luego el otro. ¿Cómo será entonces? Um, Mama? Night, 19. 19, ajá. 19. Ay, no me acuerdo del 89. Ok, you say 1989. 89. Okay, 1989. Ok. I was born, sorry, I entered first grade in 1989. Yeah, correct. Thank you very much. Maria Lourdes, number four. How old were you then? Letter A, I was six. I was six. That's correct. Thank you very much. Number five, how was your first day of school? Who can tell me? Cecia. H. Mm -hmm. It was a little scary. Yeah, correct. Very good. 
Number six, who was your first friend in school? Okay, Ceci again. Uh, D, her name was Yumiko. The name was Yumiko. Okay, yeah, correct. Letter D, very good. Uh, number seven, what was he or she like? Raise your hand if you know. Uh, Karen Julissa and then Carlos Alberto. B. B. Can you read it? Yes. She was really shy. She was really shy. Yeah, correct. And Carlos Alberto, the last one. Why did you take this class? Carlos Alberto. Se durmió. Okay, uh, the last one. Why did you take this class? Bueno, vamos, es la que sobra, ¿no? Okay, letter E. My English wasn't very good. Okay, that's the answer. So that's 5.9 WH questions with did, was, and where. Some extra practice, but I don't know if we have the time. Uh, okay, let's do it. Vamos a hacer esto. Okay, um, take a look. Esta es práctica adicional. So uh, put the words in the correct order. You have was, your, of school, how, first day. How was your first day of school? Number two, your was teacher who favorite. What's the question? Poner las palabras en orden, nada más. Your was teacher who favorite. What's the question? Cecia. Sería who hmm? was your teacher favorite? Favorite. Ah, uh -huh. who was your who was your favorite teacher? <laughs> who was your favorite, favorite teacher? Yeah, that's right. Who was your favorite teacher? Favorite es un adjetivo. Siempre va antes del sustantivo, antes del nombre que lo califica. So, who was your favorite teacher? Yes, teacher. Perdón, antes del uh, sustantivo al cual califica, perdón. So, who was your favorite teacher? Number three. Thank you, Cecia. Uh, favorite you. was your what class? Carlos Alberto. Teacher, solo disculparme. No, no podía encender el micrófono. Estoy desde el teléfono. Okay, no problem. Do you have number three? Okay. Sería, what was your favorite class? What was your favorite class? That is correct. Very good. Number four, your who best were friends. Who has this one? Raise your hand if you know. Uh, Jose Amilcar. Sería... Who mm -hmm. were your best friends? Who were your best friends? Okay, that is correct. Very good. Who were your best friends? Great. Number five, spend did your where you free time. Cecia. Where did you spend your free time? Where did you spend your free time? That is correct. Okay. Donde pasabas tu tiempo libre? Where did you spend your free time? Very good. Thank you. And number six. Finish did when, when did you, you elementary, elementary school. Elementary school. When did you elementary school? Cecia. When did you elementary school? You forgot the word finish. Perdón, no alcanzo a ver bien. Vamos a acercarme. When... Ahí está, ahí está. 
when did hmm? you finish elementary school? When did you finish elementary school? That is correct. Okay, very good. 7.45. I better hurry. Okay, vamos acá. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Vamos a ir al knowledge check 5.10. Okay, so again, it's unscramble the words to create questions. La misma lógica. Grow up, you did where? What's the question? Este directo de la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Baudilio. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Okay, where did you grow up? Okay, yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Baudilio. Number two. In the year 2000, all were you how? What's the question? What's the question? Vamos, son los ejercicios de la plataforma. Si ya lo tienen, solo díganme qué contestaron. Si no lo tienen, pues vámonos lo contestando de una sola vez. María de Lourdes, de Encesia. How were, how were you or in the year uh, 2000? El question word, que sería una frase, en este caso es how old. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? How old you were in the year? How old were, were you in the year 2000? How old were you in the year 2000? I was 15. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Cecia. Begin to study English, when did you? Esto como en Star Wars, ¿verdad? Yoda. Voy, ¿sí? voy. Ok. Espérame. Eh, when did you begin to study English? When did you begin to study English? Ok. English. When did you begin to study English? Ok, good. What about number four? Thank you, Cecia. You born, you born when, where? What's the question? Cecia. When were you born? When were you born? Okay, cuando naciste, when were you born? Okay. Here you go. So um, what are we going to do here very quickly? Muy rápido vamos a ir esta parte. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing school. Final de esta clase aprenderán vocabulario para discutir sobre la escuela. Okay. So it's right here. It's a word power. Okay. Complete the word map with words from the list, then listen and check. Porque ya es bastante tarde. Tenemos que cubrir también eh, lo del final exam. Vamos a hacer esto rápido. Solamente hay que clasificar esto, las palabras. Así que las vamos a ver de una sola vez. In classes, you have history, math, physical education, and science. Okay, those are classes. What about the types of schools? You have elementary school, junior high, high school and college. Okay? ¿Cómo funciona? En elementary school son los más pequeñitos, ¿verdad? Junior high es lo que llamaríamos acá un equivalente más o menos como el que llamamos acá el segundo ciclo. High school es más o menos como acá en El Salvador a partir como de noveno grado sería el equivalente aquí hasta que termine el bachillerato. Todo eso es high school en Estados Unidos. Luego college, que es como la universidad. Bueno, se puede ir directo a university también. Pero... Entonces, esas son las schools. Elementary school, junior high school, high school, and 
college. And the places, you have a classroom, the gym, the lunch room, and the playground. That's vocabulary for you right here. And then uh, ah, the time, we don't have much time. So what are we going to do here? The next part is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán destreza en detección de información específica en la lectura y secuenciación de eventos. So what is the story about? It's about Ricky Martin, okay? So Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th, 1971. He was always a performer, an artist. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. Estudió canto, no? At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. Y si ustedes se acuerdan de Menudo, bueno, ya saben. He worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera, una telenovela. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the US. Back in the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables, that's French. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. So that's the story of Ricky Martin. And you have some of the questions, right? Write the question for each answer. The first one is, where was Ricky Martin born? The answer is in Puerto Rico. When did Ricky Martin join the Latin band, uh, boy band Menudo? At the age of 12. When did Ricky Martin leave Menudo? After five years. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was frustrated. What show or what Broadway show did Ricky Martin appear in? Le Miserable. And what was, or what is, todavía está vivo, Ricky Martin's greatest hit? Living La Vida Loca. Básicamente, estas son las preguntas que ustedes tienen que elegir en el Knowledge Check 5.10, que sería esta, ¿verdad? Bueno, no son las preguntas, las preguntas ya están, son las respuestas, están acá. Now, we don't have much time, we only have seven minutes, so we have to cover uh, the last part for this unit and this level, and that is the final exam. Así que vamos con eso, final exam, everybody. First, the listening part. I want you to listen, and then we're going to choose the correct answer. Listen to Helen and Mark conversations, Mark's conversations and select the best answer to the question. The first one is, where are Helen and Mark going? Where is Smith's department store? How do you get there? And what is Mark going to buy? I'm going to play the track once, and after that, you tell me the answer, okay? Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. 
I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, so number one. Where are Helen and Mark going? Where are Helen and Mark going? Okay, uh, Karen, Julissa, and then Cecia. A bank and a department store. A bank and a department store. Okay, yeah, that's right. Good. Cecia, where is Smith's department store? On Main, between first and second. On Main, between first and second. That's... Uh, Actually, on the corner of Main and First, First and Main. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, Jose Benjamin, how do you get there? Walk up second to Main, turn right. Walk up second to Main, turn right. Okay, good. And the last one, number four. What is Mark going to buy? Maria de Lourdes? A sweater. A sweater. That's right. It's going to buy a sweater. Good. Complete the sentences. Ahí aparecen las opciones a la par. So, um, lo mismo que ya contestaron, ¿verdad? Ok, ya tendrían que haber contestado. The department store is, blah, 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 the bank. What is it? Mm -hmm. Karen, Julissa? Next to... Next to the bank, correct. Uh, number two, Al's Coffee Shop is blah, 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 the movie theater. What's the right preposition? Jose Benjamin. Al's Coffee Shop is... Across from the movie. Across from the movie theater. That's correct. Thank you. And number three, Maria's restaurant is blah 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 Main Street and Second Avenue. Ever Enrique. Oh. I'm sorry. On the corner of. On the corner of. That's correct. On the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Very good. Exercise C. Bueno, este ejercicio es un poco gracioso por la forma en que fue configurado, pero bueno. Select the best answer to each question. Were your parents born in the U.S.? What's the right answer? Aquí están las opciones. Were your parents born in the U.S.? Ever Enrique? No. They weren't. My parents were born in Japan. No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Okay, good. Thank you. Where did you grow up? Karen Julissa. I grew up in, in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Okay, thank you. Number three, who was your first English teacher? Maria de Lourdes. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. 
My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Okay, thank you. Very good. Number four, when did you come to New York? Says Yahemima. Mm -hmm. I come I to came. New York in 1998. I came to New York in 1998. And the last one, how was your first day in the, U in the U.S.? It was a little scary. Yo estaba en orden la respuesta. Bueno, así aparece. No en el siguiente ejercicio. Aquí sí. No están en orden. So match the verbs to the, to the nouns. Instructions match the verbs to the correct word or phrases. So had. What about this one? Had. Mm -hmm. Your options are photos, a picnic, tennis, a play, and swimming. What is that? Karen Julissa. A picnic. At the picnic. Okay, that's correct. Good. The second one, played. Ever Enrique? Play tennis. Play tennis, correct. Okay, number three, took. Ever Enrique? Oh, photos. Took photos. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, number four. Went. Seven Hamming. Karen Julissa. Okay. Went. When... Okay, Jose Ben Hamming. Went. Uh -huh. Went swimming. And the last one is saw a play. Via una obra de teatro, right? Complete the conversations. Is this the last one, I believe? No, the penultimate one. Okay, so what about number one? Karen Julissa. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Okay, good. What about the second one? Porque vienen en parejas. Not really. I. Not really. I studied. I, I studied all weekend. I studied all, all weekend. weekend. Okay. Thank you. What about number two? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Jose Benjamin. Did, did they do a thing last week? Did they do yes, anything? Yes, they went uh -huh. hiking uh -huh. in the woods. Yes, they went hiking in the woods. Okay, thank you, Jose Benjamin. And the last one, number three. Raise your hand, please. Ever Enrique. Did she get any, anything of the more? Hmm? No. She went shopping, but did, did buy anything. But she, but she? Did buy, didn't buy anything. Didn't buy anything. Okay. She went shopping, but she didn't buy anything. Okay. Those are the answers right there. Final exercise, read the article and complete the sentences. So, Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement. And he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor 
and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. Birch is happy he's all right. So number one, why did Jerry go to the basement? That's the first question. Jose Benjamin and then Maria de Lourdes. To do laundry. To do laundry, that's correct. Question number two. Where did Jerry sleep, Maria de Lourdes? Jerry slept on the floor. Jerry slept on the floor. Okay, that's correct. And the last one. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Karen Julissa. Because, because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Yes, on because, him. because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Okay, good. Y con esto terminamos este nivel. De nuevo, eh, ha sido un gusto haber sido el facilitador para este grupo. Siempre hago la atenta invitación a que no se descuiden, que sigan aprendiendo y que participen. Hablen inglés, ¿verdad? Eso es muy importante. Eh, solamente me queda desearles mucha suerte. Si en un futuro, pues, nuevamente tenemos la oportunidad de aprender juntos, pues, bueno, ahí vamos a estar. Dígame, Cecia, Audilio. Gracias, teacher, por la paciencia. Bueno, gracias a ustedes también por la paciencia que me han tenido a mí. Paudilio. Thank you, teacher, for her. Uh, por todo su conocimiento y su empeño que pone en cada clase y crean que hemos aprendido eh, muchas cositas. Bueno, en lo bueno. personal, pues, varias, muchas cosas. Eh, uh -huh. Así, su forma de enseñanza, pues, es bastante excelente. Se le muchas gracias. Mucho. Muchas gracias. Me alegra que le haya gustado. María de Lourdes. Me suena a despedida, teacher. No, no sé. Pero sorry. bueno, you are excellent teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, you're an excellent student. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Karen, Julissa. Pues lo esperamos, ¿verdad? En la próxima. Que no nos deje abandonados. <risa> bueno, Excelente, eso, teacher. No, no, no depende de mí, sino que de la asignación que hagan. Ahí nosotros no podemos elegir, sino que dicen, va a tener tal nivel. Vale. Vamos a hacer una huelga para solicitarlo. Ok, ok. No, 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 no recibimos la clase. <risa> José Benjamín, dígame. No, petición de grupo, ya lo pedimos y como queda grabado, todos con el teacher. <risa> sí, sí, queremos nuevo. Yo vaya, 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 pero, pero participen, participen, esa es, es mi condición, vaya, usted dice que otra vez que sea con el teacher, va, chévere, mi condición es participen en clase, ok, eso es importante, ok, Yo no prometo participar. Okay, okay. ok, everybody, uh, thank you very much and uh, see you, <laughs> good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Mira la cara de Wilber. Good, Mr. Baudi. Good. El <laughs> Wilber. You sleep, Mr. Baudi. You know, do you know to press the gym? The gym is my question. Yeah, the gym is my question. Every day. Bueno, see you later, Mr.